Hey guys, welcome back. I'm still here and you're still here watching. That's fantastic. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that notification bell so that you guys know when I've dropped another video. And uh, so today, as promised, we're going to open up all of these team transports. Uh, today we're only going to open up wave one and wave two. Those were from back in, uh, they were 2017, so for the 2018 model years. So wave one was the Porsche 356 Speedster, the Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX, and the 69 Nissan Skyline van, and of course their carriers that went along with them. This one was obviously by far the most popular of the group. So those ones will open up and then we'll open up wave two. Now wave two was the Mongoose set. So you had the 72 Plymouth Cuda funny car with the retro rig. You had the Plymouth Duster funny car with the retro rig. And then you had the Porsche 962 with the Fleet Flyer. So we'll open up those as well. Okay, so first one. So the first car in the set is the Porsche. There's the back. These ones are, I've been dying to open these for such a long time. I never had anywhere to put them, so I didn't want to open them up just so they could just kind of hang around and get all messed up. So, so here we go. Cautiously opening up the can, the boxes, trying to preserve some of the card art. Not so bad could be worse okay so here it is so we've got the uh, what do they call this the T1 yeah it's T1 pickup <laughs> okay so there it is stiff I've seen these still at Walmart stores. I don't know, there must have been a whole bunch of them left over because I saw these still on the shelves in actually quite mass quantities out in Hamilton at the Walmart at Centennial Parkway. They might even still be there. But this is kind of cute. So that's really awesome. I love that. Look at that. Man, that's cool. Okay. So tampos are awesome on this particular one. And with all of these, of course, you have the metal base, rubber wheels, and just a fantastic looking casting. I love that. That is so cool. So there you go. That's uh, the first one in the set. There you go. Okay, let's go. Number two. Number two was the Nissan Laurel. Okay, Nissan Laurel. I wonder if I, when I put these up there, that'll, yeah, that might be cool. Okay, that way you'll always remember what they were. Okay, so there you go. Um, there's a little bit of plastic in there that holds the car from going too far out. So there's your truck, your transport trailer. The, uh, obviously the closing door. Cool. So again, you, know, you get the full metal base. This one's a metal cab and plastic box with uh, Real Rider rubber wheels, chrome rims. That's pretty awesome. And then you've got the uh, the Laurel. Again, really well detailed. That's pretty cool. I like that. So this is like maybe the fourth Laurel I've got. I don't know how many times they've redone this one. I don't even know if they've ever done this in a mainline. No clue. This has not been one I've always, that I've ever really gone after, but uh, when it's in premium, I always grab it. So there you go, that's really cool. So that is your Gretti transporter with your Laurel. And then the one that I've been dying to open up for such a long time, the Nissan Skyline van. I could just 
went under my fingernail. I'm gonna be bleeding. Okay, there's that. I know, you guys are saying, what a suck. I am, I'm a suck. I don't like to get cut. Okay. So, this is the... What do they call this thing? The carry-on van. Okay, so there's your carry-on. Cool wheels, really cool wheels. Nice details on the front of this truck. So that is super cool. I like that, I like it a lot. And then there's your Nissan Skyline. I think that's a Skyline, right? Yeah, the Skyline. They call this a van, although <laughs> here in North America we call this a station wagon. But again, what? Super, super cool. So stoked about this one. I love this. Oh, man. Love it, love it, love it, love it. You guys should give a thumbs up just for this car. Go ahead, thumbs up. Put the thumbs up. Go ahead. I'll wait. I got time. Did you do it? Thumb? Okay. So there's your Laurel. Or Laurel. See, now you got me all messed up. There's your uh, Skyline van. That's wicked cool. And so wave two. This, this set's cool too. This is another one I've always wanted open. These mongoose and snake ones. Wicked cool. So, not bad. It's too bad the cards don't come out without wrecking them. All the art on them. Okay, so there is your retro rig. It's actually really cool. Never seen one of these outside of its case. Well, seen them on videos, I mean in person. But that is actually really, really sweet. Wow. Okay, that's got some wicked wheels on it. So again, you know, the metal base. This one's got the plastic, the, the carry-on is plastic. And of course the cab is metal. Nice details. Actually beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then your funny car, which actually opens. I'm, I'm impressed. I am so excited that that opens. Man, is that awesome. Okay, that really made my day. Because you know what? I had no idea that these actually opened like the originals. I thought they did them less like all they do these mainline funny cars and they, they, they basically make them so that you can't open them anymore. That is wicked cool. Oh man, that that changes my day. Look how cool that is. Look at the tampos on that. That is so exciting. Sorry, I should be looking at you guys, but I'm looking at the car. I'm sorry in the screen, but that is... Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, that deserves another thumbs up round. Go ahead, thumbs up. Hit the like button. I dare you. That is wicked cool. Okay. So, man, that is cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so there you go. That is your retro rig with your snake drag strip car. Sorry, you don't need to look at my bald spot. Okay, and second one in the series without ripping my fingernail off. Let's see if we can get this out. No, that wasn't half bad. Better than the last one. Okay, so we got us another retro rig. The ground is so far away these days. Okay. So, retro rig. <laughs> Again, this is so awesome. Okay, so this one's got, I think the same wheels on the retro rig. No, they're different. So this one had like your Krager style from the 70s and this one's got Steelys. Friggin' awesome. Okay, so, so happy I decided to open these. I thought I would just pin them on the wall in their case just like everybody else does, but I thought, you know what? 
I decided a long time ago that I was going to open up all of these cars and not keep them in their plastic prison. And I'm so, so, so happy that we, I, sorry, that I am opening these cars. Okay, so there's your retro rig. Super wicked, cool, awesome. And then there is your mongoose. This one doesn't open quite as high, so we gotta force it. So, there. Okay. Man, oh man, that is so awesome. Okay, so there is your duster. Nice wide slicks. Got the whole metal base thing going on. Man, I love that. I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that, I love that. Okay, likes. Likes again. Comments. Got to talk about this because this is cool. Makes me want to go and try and find a set of the originals now. So these reproductions or recasts are awesome, but I would love to get my hands on some of the originals. So that is cool. So cool. So awesome. Cool. Thanks for looking at my bald spot again. Okay, so there is your retro rig with the Duster Dragster Mongoose on the back. That is super, super sweet. Man, that is cool. Okay, and the last one in, oop, the last one in the second phase is the 9, uh, 962 Porsche with the Fleet Flyer. So we'll get that open all oh, year. That one didn't go so good. Lost some of the picture on that. Around this way too far away these days. Okay, so here's another one. When I picked this one up, I thought, oh man, I can't wait to get that car out of there because I have always loved this casting. That, man, is that ever cool? I can't believe how cool some of these are. And if you guys missed these when they were coming out the first time, I really, really hope that somehow these end up on shelves again because if you missed these and didn't pick one of these up, I know you guys in the States pay like 12 bucks for these. Over here, this is like 18, 19 bucks Canadian. And, you know, so for a lot of collectors, that's probably a lot of money, you know, to go and drop 20 bucks plus tax on, you know, a die cast car that, you know, just I think generally I see these sitting on the shelves a lot now. So obviously I know times are tough. People just don't have the resources to go out and buy these things, but. I don't know, this one is way cool. I love that. Okay, so there you go, your Momo livery, uh, uh, Porsche and Fleet Flyer. So, so awesome. And I'm so happy that I have decided to open these up because, man, these are so wicked cool. Okay, so next part of the video, we're gonna put them up on that shelf. This is gonna be cool. Okay, thanks for meeting me at my ceiling and checking out this uh, foam board display that I made with the black and the white foam board. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm on a ladder, as you can, I'm a little bit unstable. So thanks for checking it out. Um, hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already, hit the like button. Go ahead, subscribe and like, I'll wait. Oh, I've got time. And Okay, thanks. Appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, so on the next set of videos, we'll open up the next six in the team transport. Uh, maybe in between all that, I'll do another video with the cabinet, making the cabinet, uh, or the foam board cabinet rather. And uh, so I've pre-cut all the foam already. So if anybody's interested, leave a comment that you are interested in seeing that. And then maybe I'll video of that as well and put all the dimensions for the foam board pieces that we used or <laughs> I used and we'll do that okay again thanks very much for supporting the channel thanks for checking me out and I'll see you guys when we do the next six thanks I just got to get down off this ladder without falling <laughs> <laughs>